Let's take a closer look at the Srixen golf ball range, and we have a lot of golf balls to choose from here. So we start with the Z-Star Diamond. This is the new ball from Srixen. This ball's being used by Brooks Kepka. It's a high spinning golf ball with good distance off the tee. It's a performance kind of premium golf ball. So in the range, you've got premium, you've got the Diamond Z-Star, the Z-Star XV and the Z-Star. So all premium golf balls. So what these golf balls are doing is they're gonna give you maximum spin going into the greens. So chipping around the greens, going into greens, while at the same time delivering full distance off the tee. And what you're gonna find with most golf balls from most manufacturers is off the tee, they're all very similar. Where you start making compromises is almost kind of nine iron, eight iron downwards into your wedges. So if you want the highest spinning plus highest, so furthest going golf ball, you're gonna be staying up in this premium range. Difference between, so I play the Z Star and I've also tried the um, XV. XV is a little higher spinning in the medium iron range, seven iron, six iron little bit lower spinning in the Z-Star, which I actually quite like because that gives me a little bit more distance and I'm using land angle to stop my golf ball. But you'll find, I'm a bit different in that. You'll find elite players generally will want high spin for everything else. So the most used ball in the range on tour is actually the XV and I think the diamond will catch it up pretty soon. Then we go Q-Star Tour. This is a great kind of bridging ball between your premium going down into your more kind of everyday golfer golf balls. This is gonna give you pretty decent spin going into the greens, not quite as high as these. Pretty decent spin in those medium irons and at the same time deliver you great distance off the tee, all in a fantastic feeling golf ball. And remember where you compromise a little bit on spin, so you're gonna get the higher price balls this end and then it's gonna kind of slightly come down in price, so you're compromising on that little bit of approach spin, say, and that around the green spin, but you are getting a better price. So what is valuable more to you? This ball is a great one for kind of bridging the gap between them. AD333 next. This ball is so popular. The price point is killer. Feels great off the face. It gives great distance off the tee, like all of them, while at the same time delivering good numbers into approach shots and around the green. Remember, less spin than at this end but enough for most golfers to not really notice if you're not dialed into that, which is why you'll find the elite players tend to stay up here because they might see it a bit more. If you've got a bit more variability in your golf game, and let's admit it, who hasn't, this one at the price is a fantastic golf ball. If you want your golf ball to feel super soft, ulti soft here from Strixon, this golf ball is maybe the softest feeling of all of them. It's crazy, crazy soft feeling, which some people like around the greens. Don't think of that as delivering more spin. It's a common misconception. Remember that's up at this end, but it's gonna deliver good numbers around the green. And again, remember off the tee, nice and solid. But what it's really gonna deliver on is that super, super soft feel that some people just wanna feel with certain clubs. And then we got the soft feel. Not quite as soft feeling as the Ulti Soft, but very close. It will feel softer than say like your Diamond Z Star. Um, it'll have that different audible sound. You'll feel it and hear it stroke a bit more on the uh, off the face, certainly in those short shots. Again, great price point, good distance off the tee, medium spinning going into greens and with those kind of medium irons um, and low spinning with the driver. So you're not gonna, even though it's soft and this one's soft, you're not gonna get high spinning shots with the driver. And again, that's why they're all very similar with the driver because that spin model is relatively low with all of them. Then we move into a two piece distance golf ball from Srixen. This one's built for people who want a certain crack off the face and distance. They say it feels relatively soft and it, it doesn't feel crazy hard, but it certainly feels maybe a bit harder than up this end and certainly in your soft feels. Um, it's delivering distance through lower spin. The trouble is you do see that in your medium irons and short irons, the ball pops up more. So it doesn't have spin because one of the things with spin on a golf ball is that it drags the launch down as the club grips the cover of the ball. It'll just grab that ball and drag a bit of launch off. So you do get higher launching shots with this ball, which for medium irons and short irons going in, which for some people is good because they're not dialing in on spin. Um, but if you want maximum distance and durability, the distance ball is going to be a popular one. And then we got the soft feel in the Strixon Ladies golf ball. So this one basically sits pretty much with this one. Um, I'm not a massive fan of genderizing golf balls. I get why they do it. Uh, I don't really see much of a difference between these two balls. And also remember, 
being a certain sex. This game doesn't mean you swing at a certain speed. There might be some patterns, but I can show you men who swing really slow and I can show you women who swing really fast, but I understand why it's there and maybe the colorway. It is. It's a good performing golf ball. What do you think about that? I'm just not sure. I'm never quite sure what that is a good or a bad message, really. And then remember, you've got the Strix and Divide. It's coming in different ones. You can get a Strix and Divide coming soon in Z Star, which is something I game in the Divide. And this is in a Q Star Tour. This is actually out of my golf bag because I didn't have one in stock because these balls do sell so fast. When you're watching this video, they probably are back in stock. So you get the fun Divide. This is a Q Star Tour, basically. So it's this golf ball, but rather than being in the white, so these ones are just in white. Remember that you can get yellow versions of these balls as well. Um, this is in both the orange and the yellow, which is quite fun and a very di a direct line on it for lining up those kind of ideas. Plenty of options from Strixon for any of price points. If you want to stay elite, feel and control, you're going to stay up this end. If you're thinking of price, you're definitely going to move more down to this end. Let me know what you think of this one. I see these two balls pretty much as the same. And then your AD33 sits in the middle and you can see why it's so popular. It delivers, uh, delivers everything most golfers want. Um, while at the same time delivering a fantastic price point. A golf ball for everyone really, isn't it?